Hey guys, it is Carl Brown for GuitarLessons365.com. Going to continue our uh, Chris Cornell tribute uh, lesson tribute series today uh, with a, a really highly uh, requested song, Outshined. This is the first song that actually got me into uh, Soundgarden when it first showed up on MTV way back in the day, 91 or whatever. I thought it was like the coolest thing I just about ever heard. This is such a killer riff um, or series of riffs. And uh, so it's, it's really cool. So it's good that I can teach it now. Right, we're coming full circle. So now we got to get in drop D here. So Nate, take your low E string, tune it down a whole step to D. I'll have those notes in the description anyway. All right. So let's start here with the, the uh, beginning of the song. We have this. guitar fill over that. I'll show you that in a second. So what we're going to really is do is have some heavy palm muting going on the low uh, bottom three strings. And then just play the power chord, you know, since we're in drop D here, just one finger power chords at the third fret across the three bottom strings. Then five, three, back to zero. And then back to three. So we have this. Then come over to the third fret on the A string and put some pretty good vibrato on it. And then come back down six, five, three with the power chords again. And they kind of slide off of them. They slide into it basically at the beginning too. The first time you hear it. But at the end of it, the riff every time, they kind of slide up a little bit. So we have this. Now right there, before the vocals come in, there's a little guitar fill. And it's just a bend on the 5th fret of the D string into a bend at the 5th fret of the G. And then we're back to that same riff for the, uh, for the verse section. All right, now there's little, little guitar layers here or there. I'm not going to focus too much on those. Uh, we're going to jump now to the pre-chorus. Now this pre-chorus sounds kind of odd, especially when you don't have the bass player playing with you because one of the notes uh, is out, you know, it's like you know, playing around a D major. There's some notes in there that are thrown in there that he repeats every time because that's why he manages to do them, um, uh, but aren't necessarily in the key. We go from an F sharp to an F. So we have this right here. We're going to start with the... All right, so we're gonna start with the open D on the seventh, uh, uh, open D string with the seventh fret on the G and the B. So play those together. You hit a D chord, just let the strings ring open going into this, and then we have you start the little. So that's those three strings. Let me turn it down a little. And then you add the fifth fret there on the D. Then down to the fourth fret. On the D's, you still keep those same two notes up top. So with this, and then here you're gonna grab um, this uh, major sixth shape, which is gonna be uh, the fifth fret there on the D string and the fifth fret on the B. So you pick them kind of really close after one another. Like you pick the low one and then the top one, slide down to two, uh, two frets, to the third fret. And this is the note that's gonna sound pretty out of tune. And then he quickly reaches out, you play those the same way, one after the other. Grab with your, your pinky up to the fifth uh, fret on the high E string. And when he does that, he can left up his uh, ring finger there. He picks that and then picks the open B. 
So now that didn't sound very pleasing to the ear, but if you listen to the recording, he does it every time, so he meant to do it. So after three times, now he doesn't go back to the B string the third time, because then he goes to this octave shape, which is keep your pinky there at the fifth fret on the high E string, add the second fret there on the G string. You're gonna pick those, two, th cross those top three strings, muting the B string with the bottom of your index finger. So pick that, slide up to the fourth fret, and then strum it across a couple times, those, the, that octave shape, and then hit the beginning real quick and slide up to seven. Meaning your first finger there. And back to the, just hit the strings as a low D power chord. All right, now we get to get to this killer chorus riff, which sounds like this. So uh, that's a lot of fun to play. So we're gonna do some more power chords off the, just. So this time is seven, five, zero. Then three, five, zero. Now that five is delayed, kind of follow the vocal line there. It sounds like this. So it's kind of, doesn't go da 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 It kind of, wait to follow the vocal line there. And then five three zero back to three. So we have this. And then kind of we kind of make a little uh, quick little palming. Just open to the third, and then you make it up to the six five three again, and you kind of so one two three. Five, uh, so three times on the six. Five, three, zero. So, so far we have this. And then we jump up here. All right, so that riff right there is, is pretty cool. Uh, 10 twice on the um, kind of a little bit palm muted on the low D string, with the open D. And then back to the 10 a couple times and to the open string again. Then you pick 10 twice, kind of slower, then 12 to the open. So it come, that comes out of this. Then yeah, start over with the rest. So you do it twice there at the end of the chorus, and then we're back to the, just hit the 10th fret power chord there. All right, so you hit that little hits of twos four times there. And then we get to the, uh, it goes back to, there's that riff underneath the guitar solo. Guitar solo sounds like this.
So part of that was actually a guitar solo. Part of it, he's just kind of playing along with the verse melody. So um, now this solo is going to start with this first phrase. All right, so um, it starts with a double stop at the fifth fret on the G and the B together. Oh, but you might kind of bend that a little uh, towards the floor just slightly. Just give it a little bit of an edge. And then over to the seventh fret on the D. And then we go back between the double stops on the G and the B between fifth fret and the seventh fret of those two no of those two strings. So you go five, seven, and then pull off seven, five, and then back five, seven, and pull off five, seven, five again. So we have this. All right, so it's just kind of between those two double stops. And then we have this. So that's pulling off uh, five to four on the D string to uh, five on the uh, A string, seven on the D, pull off five, four again on the D string, and pick that a couple of times there after that on the fourth fret there, over to the third fret of the A string. So we have this. So we have this all together. All right, from there we had this little series of slides. All right, so that's gonna slide uh, three to five on the A. It's kind of really, you just hear the slide into five. Over to the fourth fret on the D string. Then f slide five to seven on the D. Over to five on the G. Then slide to seven to nine on the G. Over to eight on the B. And then slide 8 to 10 on the B string over to the 10th fret on the high string. All right, then he has kind of this little bluesy lick. Then he goes to his, the verse kind of starts. So it's a bend there at the 13th fret on the B string. And then kind of... You, Kind of basing this around the D minor pentatonic scale. Bend and release, and then kind of pull off between 10 and 13. I mean, hammer on, then pull off. 12, 10 on the G, to 12 on the D, and then you go back up to the 10, 12 on the G, and do a bend there. So it's. And then he just kind of messes around, which is kind of between those three notes. So we have this. When he gets back down to the D string finally, he starts, that's when the vocals come in again, and we have this. It kind of follows the vocal line exactly. All right, so that's just a couple times on the 12 on the D string. 10, 12, 10 on the G, back to the 12 on the D. So we have this. Then you start again. Now when you get to that 12, you can do a kind of a slow bend. Down to the uh, 10th fret there on the uh, G strings with this. So start over again. And then. And then at the first time through of doing this little vocal, mel uh, you know, verse melody, he has this little fill at the end. So that's just sliding into the 12th fret on the G and then playing the 12th fret on the B, then down to the 10, and over to the 10 on the B string as well. 
then lets it resolve there to the 12th fret of the D, and then you just do the exact same melody again. Except at the end here, he just hits the, the uh, low D string to start, go back into the pre-chorus, the same little. All right. Now, the only other section we have of the song is a little interlude that happens, uh, I guess, after the second chorus. Um, I'll turn down a little bit because it's a little bit less gain on this part. So it sounds like this. All right, so he actually does that three times. So he starts here with a bar across the fifth fret on the uh, A string and the D, and you're hammering on, quick little hammer on to the seventh fret there on the, um, a, the uh, D string. Then you go back to the two fives, and then five on the A, four on the D, for so this. Now he won't do that hammer on each time. Sometimes he'll he'll pick the first one and then do a hammer on or reverse. But it sounds good. Just do the hammer on real quick. And then he does a quick hammer on right from this chord between a four to five, a four to five on the D string. Back to the four and the five here. So everything's based around this note. This note never changes there on the A string. So we have this. Hammer, and then back, just play the chord uh, with the 7th fret on the D, 5th fret on the D, so we have this, uh, to the 4th fret on the D, so we have this. All right, now we're going to take that same concept here to the these two strings. Now the 5th fret on the uh, D string and the 5th fret on the G. Pick that first, those two notes, and then hammer on the seventh fret on the G string twice with that fifth fret there on the D in the uh, on the bass. So it is. So it is. And back to those two fives, and then rotate back, uh, holding this note out with your second finger, and then five, four, five on the G with that bottom note. So it is. Now from there, you just grab, he actually comes up and goes, just uses his uh, first finger as a bar across the fifth fret on the uh, G and the B, and then it plays the sixth, fifth fret on the G with the sixth fret on the B, and then the fifth fret on both. So, and then, or then repeat. All right, then it goes back through the same uh, stuff that you've we've seen a little bit. Now in the last chorus, you're gonna see a little bit difference when they just do the. Cause he keeps doing the same chorus line while they're doing that little ending part. And then slide down. Your three and then catches just basically the end of the course, the second half. So I just didn't want you guys to get confused of what's going on there. All right, and then obviously the end of the song, just those four hits. And that is it for Outshine. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you again soon for guitarlessons365.com.